Okay, now here I've got the Galaxy S25 Ultra running on One UI 7 stable version and this is the S24 Ultra running on the One UI 7 Beta 3. Now, if I go to the GoodLock application and open it, you can see that currently NAV star, the nav star, and the quick star is not active on the One UI 7 Beta. And that was the case with the One UI 7 Stable as well on the S25 series. But now it looks like the GoodLock team has provided an update and the quick star module is currently active. As you see here, quick star is showing up right here. And when I tap on I icon, it's going to take us to the store here. Not exactly the store, but it is showing us these banners, the new banners. And it says what exactly this module can do. We can hide icons on the status bar, change quick panel theme, sort by time of incoming notifications, add button grid options in quick panel, open the quick panel by separating into left and right. Now these functions were already available in the older version of Quickstar as well. So what we are going to do now is let's go ahead and update this application and let's see if there is any new features being added on Quickstar. Now let me tap on download here. Now it says preparing and uh, it is installing. Yeah, now this is available. Now let me go to the store and let's see the latest version and let's see if there is anything uh, available here in the change log. It just says support One UI 7 and there is no new features mentioned here. And let's scroll down here and let's check the update here. Uh, you can see the updated date is 21st Jan, which was last month. It's been about a couple of weeks when this was made available in some regions. And now this is available on our devices. And we have got the latest version 8.0.02.15. And the size is just about 11.96 MB. Now, since I do not have the Quick Start available on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, what I'm going to do is I will just keep this phone aside and let's open the Galaxy S23 Ultra here. Here I've got the uh, Quick Star available on this phone because we don't have One UI 7 yet on this device. So let me go ahead and open Quick Star here and let's open Quick Star here as well on the One UI 7. I'll tap on Quick Star here. Let's see if there is any new features over here. It looks pretty much the same. We've got Style Your Own Quick Panel. Let's tap on this and when I turn it on, it looks exactly the same. Now here, let me tap on plus button. This is where we can customize our own quick panel. This is integrated into theme park as well. So we will be able to do that on theme park engine as well. The same menu will appear there and we'll be able to customize each and every element here. We have already discussed this in the previous videos. Now let's go back. Now here I've got a few themes which I had uh, created in the past. Let me go back here. We've got visibility of indicator icons. It's all the same options that we see here, nothing new here. Let's go back, clock settings, again the same, nothing new here. Apply color palette to more notification icons. And then we have change quick settings button grid. When we enable this, you will see the slider. You can see the slider has changed here, the way it looks, but the function remains the same. We can change the grid size using this feature. Now let's say uh, by default, I have got uh, this many grids here. This is four by four. Using this feature, we'll be able to adjust the quick setting button spacing. Let me increase it to narrow. And now let's see how it looks. As you can see, we can accommodate more toggles here. We have got six by three grid right now, whatever you're seeing. And of course, this grid depends on the number of toggles that you add. Your horizontal icon numbers will be six now. And if I reduce it to wide, then you can see it is just three by whatever number of icons that you have. So using this, we can increase or decrease the number of uh, icons or let's say num number of buttons on the quick panel. It's always better to set it to maybe, let me try this now. Yeah, we've got five toggles here. By default, I think we had about four toggles. Yeah, this is how it used to look. And now I will increase it to five toggles this will give you more access to all these toggles in this smaller space. So that is something which we can customize here using this specific bar, which was also available on the previous version. The only thing which has changed is this bar, which is looking slightly different now. And when I scroll down, you can see I've got adjust separated panel ratio, adjust the proportion of the notification panel and quick settings panel displayed when swiping down from the top of the screen. We can adjust this using this slider. You can see on the top, uh, it is changing. Now, if I uh, give this much of space for the notification panel, whenever I swipe from right here from this edge, I'll be able to open the notification panel and whichever area we have here from this point to this point, I can swipe down to open the notification panel and uh, I'll be able to use this corner to swipe down to see the quick panel. Now, if I keep it to the center, or let's say I will reduce it towards the notification. Now, wherever I swipe from the right side, I will be able to open the quick panel and this small portion will be for the notification panel. That is how we can adjust the status bar indicator swipe area divider. Again, this is not something new. This was also available previously, but the aesthetics has changed a bit. I was really hoping that we will get some brand new features on the Quick Star 
At the moment, we don't have it. I will keep you guys posted whenever we have some new features on Quickstar module on the GoodLog. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in these beautiful looking wallpapers that's available on Volvo's application, I just updated four more new wallpapers today. You can go ahead and check that out. And there are so many collections available on the wallpaper. You are going to love it. So go ahead, check it out, download it. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Do hit the like button if you find this video informative and do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well so that you stay updated with everything that is happening with your phone. Go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.